Hi everyone. Welcome to this video. Here we're going to solve the problem that occurred in Google Earth Engine. In an announcement that Google Earth Engine said on its website, starting November 13, 2024, all Earth Engine access will require a cloud project. We will be limiting quotas for accounts without cloud projects starting September 16, 2024. In other words, if you don't create a Google Cloud account until September 16, almost say goodbye to Google Earth Engine special features. In this video we're going to solve the issue, so let's begin and follow the video step by step. First of all, from the Platform tab select the Code Editor option, it directs us to the main page. As you can see, this message has also been written in the console section. Then we go to the Google Cloud website. We've put both Google Earth and Google Cloud website link in the description of this video for quick access. We click on the main link to enter the website. After opening the website, on the upper right side of the website click on the console option. Here we need to create a new project. For this purpose, we click on the Select a Project option on the upper left side of the open page. If you've already created a project in Google Cloud, it will be displayed for you. Click on New Project to create a new project. Set a project name, you'd better set a specific name. and click on Create option. After a few seconds, the new project will be created. In the Select a Project section, you can see the created project. In the search section, we search for Google Earth Engine to select Google Earth Engine API. Wait a few seconds for the results. We click on Google Earth Engine API. In the open page, click on the Enable option. Here Google Earth Engine API is well activated. We get back to Google Earth Engine. By clicking on your profile from the upper right, we click on Choose a Cloud Project option. In the open window, select the created project. As you can see, it automatically identifies the cloud project and lists it for you. After selecting the project, an error is displayed in Google Earth Engine which says this project is unregistered and must be registered. So again, from the Profile section we click on Register this cloud project. Here we choose how to use Google Earth Engine whether paid or unpaid usage based on your needs and work and finally define our project type. Here the problem of Google Earth Engine was solved correctly and you can solve the problem with this method. We go to the Assets section. Here it displays the created project.
You can create multiple projects as needed and import them into Google Earth Engine.